There are many ways to find persuasive articles or opinion pieces uh, from newspapers online. And one of the places that uh, I regularly go is Google News. So if you go to the little nine square waffle iron icon to the right, top right of Google, or if you just go to news.google.com, you'll be able to see many of these uh, articles. So what we're going to see is, and these headlines of course will vary depending on the day, and as you scroll through, you'll have different categories uh, open to you, whether it's world, local news, business, technology, et cetera. What you'll notice is that Google does try to uh, place the opinion word next to items that are editorials or that show a particular bias or point of view. So in these, these are opinion pieces about <clears throat> the election. And if you scroll down, you'll have opinion pieces about uh, other aspects of world politics and policy, et cetera. You can always view the full coverage of one of these particular items, and it will take you into uh, a longer list of articles and, and tweets. And then here we, we're down to all coverage for this particular topic. And again, as they identify things as opinion, they should label those as such. Um, they're not always great at it, but generally on that opening page, you can quickly find some opinion pieces in the items that are up top in the, in the new cycle. The other thing you can do is simply go to Google and search for various newspapers and then search their editorial pages. So the New York Times uh, has an editorial uh, page and you can go to the New York Times editorials. It's underneath the opinion section. And here we have a whole bunch of different editorials written by the editorial board. Um, and you can click on these and get a little argument based on uh, the politics or the topics of the day. It may ask you to log in with your Google account um, if you don't have subs a subscription, or you can also search some of the library uh, resources to get these particular opinion pieces. And I'll show you that in another video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. We're more than happy to help. Take care.